Trailal Hirashan Ambani, better known as Tarupai Ambani, was an Indian business tycoon who founded Reliance Industries in Bombay with his cousin. He figured in the Sunday Times list of top 50 businessmen in Asia. Ambani took Reliance Industries public in 1977, and by 2007 the combined fortune of the family was $60 billion, making the Ambanis the second richest family in the world. Ambani died on July 6, 2002. Early career, Ambani started with rupee one in his hand and earned money by working with a firm in Yemen in the 1950s and moved to Mumbai in 1958 to start his own business in spices. After making modest profits, he moved into textiles and opened a mill in Naroda industrial area of Ahmedabad. He founded Reliance Industries in 1966, and as of 2012, the company has over 85,000 employees and provides almost 5% of the central government's total tax revenue. As of 2012, Reliance Industries was listed among top Fortune 500 list of world's biggest companies by revenues. Majin Corporation, Tarupai Ambani returned from Yemen to India and started Majin in partnership with Chambakalil Damani, his second cousin, who lived with him in Aden, Yemen. Majin was to import polyester yarn and export spices to Yemen. The first office of the Reliance Commercial Corporation was set up at the Nasinava Street in Masjid Bunda. It was a 350 SQAFT room with a telephone, one table and three chairs. Initially, they had two assistants to help them with their business. During this period, Ambani and his family stayed in a two-bedroom apartment at the Jihind estate in Peleshwar, Mumbai. In 1965, Chambakalil Damani and Tarupai Ambani ended their partnership and Ambani started on his own. It is believed that both had different temperaments and a different take on how to conduct business. While Damani was a cautious trader and did not believe in building yarn inventories, Ambani was a known risk-taker and believed in building inventories, anticipating a price rise, and make lots of profit. Ambani's control over stock exchange, extensive marketing of the brand Bimal in the interiors of India made it a household name. Franchise retail outlets were started and they used to sell only Bimal brand of textiles. In the year 1975, a technical team from the World Bank visited the Reliance Textiles Manufacturing Unit. In 1982, Reliance Industries came up against a rights issue regarding partly convertible debentures. It was rumored that the company was making all efforts to ensure that their stock prices did not slide an inch. Sensing an opportunity, the Bear Cartel, a group of stockbrokers from Calcutta, started to short sell the shares of Reliance. To counter this, a group of stockbrokers until recently referred to as Friends of Reliance started to buy the short-sold shares of Reliance Industries on the Bombay Stock Exchange. The Bear Cartel was acting on the belief that the bulls would be short of cash to complete the transactions and would be ready for settlement under the Badler trading system operative in the Bombay Stock Exchange. The bulls kept buying and a price of 152 per share was maintained until the day of settlement. On the day of settlement, the Bear Cartel was taken aback when the bulls demanded a physical delivery of shares. To complete the transaction, the much money was provided to the stockbrokers who had bought shares of Reliance, by Tarupai Ambani. In the case of non-settlement, the bulls demanded an umbadla, or penalty sum, of 35 per share. With this, the demand increased and the shares of Reliance shot above 180 in minutes. The settlement caused an enormous uproar in the market. To find a solution to this situation, the Bombay Stock Exchange was closed for three business days. Authorities from the Bombay Stock Exchange intervened in the matter and brought down the Umbadla rate to two with a stipulation that the Bear Cartel had to deliver the shares within the next few days. The Bear Cartel bought shares of Reliance from the market at higher price levels and it was also learnt that Tarupai Ambani himself supplied those shares to the Bear Cartel and earned a healthy profit out of the Bear Cartel's adventure. After this incident, many questions were raised by his detractors in the press. Not many people were able to understand as to how a yarn trader until a few years ago was able to get in such a huge amount of cash flow during a crisis period. The answer to this was provided by the then Finance Minister, Pranab Mukherjee in the Parliament. 
he informed the House that a non-resident Indian had invested up to 220 million in Reliance during 1982-83. These investments were routed through many companies like Crocodile, Lota and Fiasco. These companies were primarily registered in Isle of Man. The interesting factor was that all the promoters or owners of these companies had a common surname Shah. An investigation by the Reserve Bank of India in the incident did not find any unethical or illegal acts or transactions committed by Reliance or its promoters. Death To Rob Hyambani was admitted to the Breach Candy Hospital in Mumbai on June 24, 2002 after he suffered a major stroke. It was his second stroke, the first one had occurred in February 1986 and had paralyzed his right hand. He was in a coma for more than a week and a number of doctors were consulted. He died on July 6, 2002. The country has lost iconic proof of what an ordinary Indian fired by the spirit of enterprise and driven by determination can achieve in his own lifetime. A Euro Bihari Vajayee, former Prime Minister of India. This new star, which rose on the horizon of the Indian industry three decades ago, remained on the top until the end by virtue of his ability to dream big and translate it into reality through the strength of his tenacity and perseverance. I join the people of Maharashtra in paying my tribute to the memory of Ambani and convey my heartfelt condolences to the bereaved family. A Euro PC Alexander, Governor of Maharashtra. Reliance after Ambani, following a stroke in 1986, Ambani handed over control of Reliance to his sons Mukas and Anil. Ambani died after a major stroke on July 6, 2002 in Breach Candy Hospital. In November 2004, Mukas Ambani in an interview, admitted to having differences with his brother Anil over ownership issues. He also said that the differences are in the private domain. After the death of Tarabhai Ambani, the group was split into Reliance Industries Limited, headed by Mukas Ambani, and Reliance the Anil Tarabhai Ambani Group, headed by Anil Ambani. Kuntapabaman Kamath, the managing director of ICICI Bank was seen in media, as a close friend of the Ambani family who helped to settle the issue. Popular in media, in an unauthorized biography of Tarabhai Ambani, published in 1998 by Hamish MacDonald with the title The Polyester Prince, all his political and business conquests are outlined. HarperCollins didn't sell the book in India, because the Ambani threatened legal action. In 2010, an updated version went on sale in India, called Ambani and Sons. There has been no legal action against the publisher so far. A Hindi film said to be loosely inspired by the life of Tarabhai Ambani was released on January 12, 2007. Guru, directed by filmmaker Mani Reshnam, cinematography by Rajiv Menon and music by A. R. Raman shows the struggle of a man striving to make his mark in the Indian business world with a fictional Shakti group of industries. Guru stars Abhishek Bachkan, Maithan Chakraborty, Eshroyari, Armadavan and Vijay Balan. Bachkan plays Guru Desai, a character implicitly based on Tarabhai Ambani. The character is popularly known as Gurubhai, similar to the real-life Tarabhai. Maithan Chakraborty portrays Manikda who bears an uncanny resemblance to the real-life Ramnath Goenka and Madhvan portrays Eskal Ramathi, who gained national fame 20 years ago spearheading virulent attacks against the Reliance Group in one of India's bloodiest corporate wars. Awards and Recognitions October 2011 awarded posthumously the ABLF Global Asian Award at the Asian Business Leadership Forum Awards. November 2000 a Euro conferred Man of the Century Award by Chemtech Foundation and Chemical Engineering World in recognition of his outstanding contribution to the growth and development of the chemical industry in India. 2000, 1998 and 1996 a Euro featured among Power 50 the most powerful people in Asia by SEA Week magazine. June 1998 Dean's Medal by the Wharton School, University of Pennsylvania, for setting an outstanding example of leadership. Tarabhai Ambani has the rare distinction of being the first Indian to get Wharton School Dean's Medal. August 2001 a Euro Economic Times Awards for Corporate Excellence for Lifetime Achievement. Tarabhai Ambani was named the Man of 20th Century by the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry. 
a poll conducted by the Times of India in 2000 voted him greatest creator of wealth in the centuries. Reference and notes. External links. Founder Chairman, Reliance, Tarabhai Ambani Institute of Information and Communication Technology, Remembering the Prince of Polyester, Time Magazine, July 15, 2002, Tarabhai Ambani in Memoriam, Rediv.com, Tarabhai Ambani from FiopliForever.org, Tarabhai Ambani from Tarabhai.net, The Polyester Prince Hamish MacDonald, Tarabhai Ambani Addressing at the Chemtech Foundation, PharmaBiz.com, Thursday. January 23, 2003, Tarabhai gave management a whole new ism A.G. Krishnamurthy on Rediv.com, Mukas Ambani son of Lech. Tarabhai Ambani, Tarabhai Ambani on YouTube The Wealth Creator of India.